has been able to give them the confidence, the working skills in a real setting. Stepping stone going from the academic world of the school to the real world in the work environment. And it helps you like later in life to like learn like what you're like up against and like what you have to like um, do later on in life. I think that one of the most meaningful things that the students in the MOVE program do, uh, they do a lot, but one of the best is that um, every year we do a annual gingerbread house activity. With the gingerbread house, we we like, get frosting and like like de we just like decorate the house with all different like frosting and M and M's and stuff. And then when we're done, we bring it to the school, and, like we put it like in the front office of our school, and, like just for everyone to like look at it and stuff. I think people will need more. Yeah, um, 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 yeah. So, you got one big giant snowman. I missed it! Uh, hey, what are you going to have to sign? You're lucky. Uh, I hate you guys talking about so many inappropriate Hi, my name is Cheyenne Dolan. I am 18 years in high school at NL. And today, um, I'm working on a snowman with Theo. It's a snowman. My name is Samantha. I'm in 10th grade, and I'm working on two different houses as well. You think... You're not replying, right? Sorry. No. You think... Oh, my God. Made me presents. Like a, um... Oh, like a cross? Sort of? Yeah. But then... I'm just going to do that. Hi, I'm Alicia, and I'm a senior, and I've been working on that, my fabulous ice skating rink. I think I'll have you, Hi, I'm Melissa, I'm a senior, and I've started helping, somewhat. What else have you been working on, Melissa? Everything. The spell we have red hot. We have um, Tic Tacs, but I figured they might be good at I'm, I'm Lorraine, I'm in ninth grade, and I'm working on that thing around the house and making trees and snowmans and decorating over there. Excellent. I'm Josh Sargent. I'm uh, decorating on the tree on the house, and put it, I put gumdrops around the tree to make it look nice. Put like snow things in the middle of it. Yeah. Like, like uh, the in between the crackers. <laughs> 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 I got my face. Stuff on my jacket. It's gonna get in my hair if I move my hair. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. <laughs> I'm Tia, and I'm a 10th grader, and I've been working on a gingerbread house. Specifically, been working on Tia. Uh, putting the mints on top of the crackers. You always want to get an entry into the contest. I'm Sam Belter. I'm a junior. I'm putting the graham crackers on the uh, the, the gingerbread okay. house. Yeah. Thought it was okay. Like, you go first. I'm Jeffrey Harrington. I've been in MOVE for three and a half years. Yeah, what are you working on here today, Jeffrey Harrington? Working on a shit. I'm Liam O'Brien, been here for one year, and I'm helping Jeff out. So what are you helping Jeff on? With the uh, shed. Nice. And I think it sort of brings together all the skills that I think makes the MOVE program so effective for students. Um, it focuses on cooperative skills, it focuses on communication, following multi-step directions, working with kitchen staff. Um, and working over the course of four separate days is a lot involved and we get to bring our work back to the school and show it off and students really seem to enjoy it.
So a typical day in the MOVE program starts at 11.30 and it ends at two. Um, all of the students meet at 11.30 in the commons of the high school and we hop onto a bus that takes us to two different hotels in Marlboro. One of them is named the Best Western Hotel and the other is named the Courtyard Marriott. Students typically get to the hotels at noon and they work from roughly 12.10 to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Marriott and um you know. Tell me about the hotel. The Marlboro Courtyard is a 202 room hotel with 8,000 square feet of media space, 95 employees, and it's open up 24 hours a day. We have six students who come here every day. And what they do is they come and they work in the kitchen and they also work in the laundry. And the three students who are in the kitchen, they cut fruit, make cookies, whatever the chef needs them to do within the limits of what they can do, the chef works with them. Start out by going, getting to our hotels, getting our assignments, and going to our job assignment area, and we work in, then we break for lunch at one o'clock, Every day we go to the kitchen, we do, we always do cookies and fruit and bacon and sausage and the meat platter. We do the, the towels. If there's no towels, we do the sheets. Can you stop shocking me? Okay, sorry. Tell me about the staff at the hotel who work with the students. My staff absolutely loves the MOVE program. They are able to show these students what they do on a regular basis. They have such pride in their jobs. They love being the teachers. They just love having the kid, the students here. The students and the staff get along so well, it has really helped the morale in my hotel also. Mary, tell us about the chef. Chef Craig is a phenomenal teacher. Chef Craig comes out of the academic world. Before he was a chef at this hotel, he was a teacher. So Chef Craig has everything you need when you're with the students in the kitchen. He has the patience, he has the knowledge, he knows the limits of each and every student, and he really enjoys what he does with the MOVE program. Well, we're here at the Best Western Royal Plaza. Um, we do have a 431 um, overnight guest room hotel. It's a full service hotel. Well, the MOVE program, um, it's something very important for us. What do we do day to day? Um, every day when they come in, we have a short little prep list and it kind of rotates depending upon uh, our daily needs. We might be in the kitchen one day, we might be in the dining room one day, and um, this way they get to see the real hands-on um, of, of what we do on a daily basis in the hotel. Anything at home crying. Hi. Skin, you're putting on the gloves. Don't mind me. Jeez. It's dark. Wait, is my mom seeing this? Happy.
<laughs> you want to cut that line, like, not so much, but you want to cut like a square. Everything I touch is messy. We have two different outlets. We have the Zachary's restaurant that we serve breakfast and lunch. I can play um, ketchups where you fill up the bottles of ketchups and uh, throw the old ones away. Where is that? In Zachary's. It's like a breakfast place for like people to come in and like sit down and eat breakfast and we like clean utensils there, you know, fill salt and pepper, fill sugar. You gotta wipe it off. have the Ulster Bar and Grill. Um, we serve lunch, dinner, and we have a, a big bar. It's a pub. We end up doing floor checks, which is pretty fun because then we can just go around and pick up food from people's doors. break for lunch at one o'clock. Students typically make their own lunches themselves in the cooking area of each kitchen. They work with um, the high school staff and also the kitchen staff, the chefs and the cooks, to help prepare meals. All the students that come in we work with them really closely with our executive chef and try to develop them as much as we can and to make them grow and learn more about the industry. Like the senior greeting uh, lunch is like we cook like food for them, like we serve, uh, we give them like plates, napkins, ask them like how the food is at the school. <laughs> You're you zooming your back of your head. Sorry. Okay, so now take the last one off of there. Um, the other faculty meetings, we just prepare like some like little foods, like uh, fruit, and we put it on plates for them to like take while they're like going into a faculty meeting. Faculty meeting every first Tuesday of the month, and the students are able to uh, set up the cookies and fruit, bring it to the school and pass it out. Senior breakfast, we cook like, uh, we get like pineapple trees and we put like fruit kebabs and stuff on them and like decorate it and we put them out for like the seniors to like eat for breakfast, like for one of the days, like to congratulate them. Hi! All right, so now we're gonna turn it on the side, right? We're not gonna do it that way. I want. Okay. Right now, Mary, tell me about helping at graduation last year. Here we uh, did the fruit and cheese for what we called the green room. Before graduation, any of the administration or anyone who was playing a part in the graduation ceremonies as far as being up on stage came by the O2 room and what we did is we did fruit and cheese and crackers and it was great because that was the first, that, that was our first example of bringing the MOVE program back into the high school so we could show, so we could show off what we do. Their peers get to see them and the faculty get to see them and that has really put the MOVE program on the map because people now know what we do. do, it, do, it, do it.
Moog program has been around for a very long time. Tell me about the history of the Moog at the Best Western. Well, they have a 10-year history of helping us and working with us, and um, it's been a great partnership and a tremendous learning experience for the kids, I think. But exclusively, it's been with Shrewsbury High School since 2008. And since we've had just one high school, I think we've really been able to get a lot out of it and been able to move kids through the program. I think it's a good idea to give students an opportunity to like go outside of school into like a, like a real building, you know, like a real professional thing and like complete tasks that were asked. It helps you with like practicing for when you are actually working in a real like business. Or vocation experience, any one of these students would be able to get a job in the restaurant industry or in the hotel industry and they are definitely able to apply for those jobs because they have the experience from this hotel. Your resume and also helps you um, get job experience and also helps you figure out what you want to do after high school. Well, I think that we're helping them to reach their full potential by actually seeing real world situations. Stepping stone going from the academic world of the school to the real world in the work environment. The lunch in the kitchen. And how to make put the stuff in the platter and put it in the oven and teach us how you learn how to not get burned when you do it. We have um, students that um, were here at a property in the past and one of the students that I know became a part of our sister property um, in the past as an executive chef so that's something very very um, great I believe you know and that the students they can all accomplish that once they set their goals and you know, what they want to do for their future. I think it's able, it's been able to give them, they've been able to see the real work life and how to get along in the working world. And I just think overall, it's a well-rounded experience for each of the students. I think it gets you a great um, job opportunity for like when you're older to like start learning how like people like are in charge of you and how like you have to do tasks and like focus on the tasks and get them like complete and it helps you like later in life to like learn like what you're like up against and like what you have to like um, do later on in life.